Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 29th of October. We begin, as always, with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world a light no darkness can extinguish. And we will sing our hymn to the light, Christ Mighty Savior. Christ Mighty Savior, light of all creation, you make the daytime radiant with sunlight, and to the night give glittering adornment, stars in the heavens. Now comes the day's end, as the sun is setting, mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection, while in the heavens choirs of stars appearing, hallow the night fall. Therefore we come now, evening rites to offer, joyfully chanting holy hymns to praise you, with all creation, joining hearts and voices, singing your glory. And our psalm is a portion of Psalm 103, which we say together. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good things as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn today is Before the World Began. Before the world began, one word was there. Grounded in God, he was rooted in care. By him all things were made, in him was love displayed. Through him God spoke and said, I am for you. Life found in him its source, death found its end. Light found in him its course, darkness its friend. For neither death nor doubt nor darkness can put out the glow of God, the shout, I am for you. The Word was in the world which from him came. Unrecognized he was, unknown by name. One with all humankind, with the unloved aligned, convincing sight and mind, I am for you. All who received the word by God were blessed. Sisters and brothers, they of earth's fond guest. So did the word of grace proclaim in time and space, and with a human face, I am for you. And our gospel today is Luke eleven fifty three to twelve seven, the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He went outside. When he went outside, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile towards him, 
and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say. Meanwhile, when the crowd gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, Jesus is going on about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. They're lying in wait for Jesus because Jesus is preaching stuff that is new to them. Uh, it is completely in keeping with the spirit of what God wants for us to do, but it isn't according to their rules and regulations. So, I mean, there are plenty of people who live in the world who have all kinds of rules and regulations about what we should do and what we should be. Um, and some of them have very little to do with how we are to really be in relationship with one another, how we are to support one another. In fact, sometimes it can be a stumbling block to actually doing the will of God. Um, Jesus says, you know, Jesus is being persecuted here. And Jesus is saying this, this will happen. Persecution will happen to the righteous, to those who are living in right relationship with others. Sometimes you'll pay a heavy price for simply acting compassionately. Um, don't fear them, Jesus says. Don't fear them. You know, fear someone who can throw you into hell, but they can't do anything more. Um, even if they take your life, they can't do anything more. Jesus even says, you know, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? I don't know who's catching those sparrows. I think it'd be worth way more than two pennies. <laughs> but the point is, Jesus is saying that you are of much more about it. God knows all the sparrows and cares for them. And he knows every hair on your head. And and he knows everything about all of you. And, and you are of so much more worth uh, than the sparrows. So you don't have to fear about your life. Um, instead, and you don't have to fear persecution. Do what is right. Live in righteous relationship. Do what is compassionate. Do the will of God, even when others are against you. Let us uh, sing together the Magnificat, and we will do the Teze version once again. Magnificat, 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 anima mea dominum, magnificat, anima mea dominum, magnificat, anima mea magnificat. Magnificat anima mea, magnificat anima mea dominum, magnificat anima mea dominum, magnificat anima mea, magnificat, magnificat anima mea, magnificat anima mea dominum, magnificat anima mea dominum, magnificat anima mea, magnificat. And let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In our prayers, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke and all your saints, and trusting one another and our whole life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our prayers today, we continue to pray for those who are sick and suffering in any way. Uh, we give thanks for those who are working for the health and wholeness of being of people, for doctors and nurses, research workers, all who are working on a vaccine for COVID. We pray for all who are supporting loved ones in illness. And today in our prayers for those who are sick, we pray especially for Jane Ross, Jim Glass, Bill Crandall, Ahmad Masse, Judy Graham, Jane Gatke, Marilyn Abraham, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Peter Robertson, Melanie and family, Cheryl Clark, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Eileen Spidel, Pat and Les Matthews, Dana Moran, Betty Goodchild, Linda Sutton, Nicola Harrison, Wayne Greger, Marion Conlon, Michael Benoit, and Raquel Bati. We pray, O oh Lord, uh, for their wholeness of body, wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee family, for Mohammed, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. We ask for your blessing upon them to keep them safe and healthy and happy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list, and if you're joining from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community. Today we pray for Cynthia Allen, for Darwin and Marilyn Allen, for Leslie Allen, for Lillian Allen, for Robert and Tammy Allen, for Gloria Anderson, for Jane Anderson, for Stephen and Linda Anderson, for Richard uh, Andrews and Sandy Lloyd, and for their children Griffin, Evan, and Duncan, and for Jim and Greta Andrews. We give thanks for them, O Lord, and pray for their health and safety, and that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today in the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of Rhode Island in the Episcopal Church and the Right Reverend Nicholas Nicely, and for the Diocese of Dallas in the Episcopal Church and the Right Reverend George R. Sumner Jr., uh, their bishop. And we pray for all the clergy and people of those dioceses. We continue to pray our favorite evening prayer from New Zealand. Lord, it is night. Let us pray. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we will sing together the Nunc Dimittis. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm glad you joined us this evening for evening prayer. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so we won't be having a, an online evening prayer for tomorrow, but I hope to see you again on Saturday. Blessings. <laughs>